you sparred with Jake, right? Mm -hmm. How do you feel that went for you? I know that he said he got the better of you, but in your opinion, how did it go? I feel like I got the better of him. Do you think Tyron Woodley will beat him in this fight? I don't know. What makes you say that? I feel like you're here repping Woodley, no? Um, just based on styles, similarities, certain uh, attributes that I don't know if other people have. So I can't really speak for someone else. I know we all make guesses on fights, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, I didn't, I don't really want to talk. Though. You know what I mean? Like I just, I'm ready to work and like bring myself to my full potential. So that's what I'm focused on. How are you doing, by the way, man? Personally, are you doing I'm good. good. It's nice to to be around, though. They doing something that's good for the rest of us. So you know, whatever I can, I can get fights anywhere, everywhere. And I'm on my last UFC fight, so, well, my last one on contract, so. So cross that off and fight Jake I, next? We'll see, yeah. I fight that fight, I, I go out there and get a big win, and sky's the limit. In the fight, lay rounds, we'll see if you can put the pressure on him and make him stop running. How do you feel Jake would just translate right now, just coming off the Ben Askren victory and where he's at now? Um, I mean, T. Woodley can definitely throw hands a lot better than Ben Askren. That's what I know for a fact. Uh, we've seen T. Wood falter against some really high caliber, uh, you know, top five fighters recently. But uh, Jake does not have those people's finishing power, even though it's MMA and boxing. He doesn't have that uh, killer instinct. He thinks he wants to have it, but he ain't got it. So. And who am I? When you when you sparred Jake, what was he good at and what was he bad at? Um, I, I was saying about making you think he's going to engage. He doesn't. He's got long reach and he's got different tricks. He he taught me something. I caught on uh, first round. He started doing something and I was like, okay. It wasn't doing damage, but it was like keeping him at bay so that I couldn't necessarily get to him. And I started working around that and it took a couple rounds to get around it, but once we got to the fourth round, I was taking over. Who was the hardest part, him or Till? Um, oh man, well, me, I mean, Jake Paul. Really? Jake Paul was a better spar than Till because, but, but that was like, that was an awkward situation with the gloves and shit. We were just, um, yeah, definitely though. What about uh, Jilly on Love? Would you fight him on the undercard? Yeah, why not? I mean, I don't see why it would have to be on an undercard. He's got a great record. He's an ex-world champion, and he wants to fight a UFC fighter. I'll do some dirty shit to him. What do you, um, what do you give uh, chances of Jake and Tyron? Like, um, they're like 50-50, 60-40? Look, I can see Jake taking a decision. Okay. That's it. I don't see him finishing Woodley. I saw, I saw Woodley stumble to... Um, Vicente or Gilbert or who, you know, um, he showed heart and and his boxing. Now he ain't got to worry about other things. I'm sure he's training the boxing. And I know that he was five-time world champion. He was a UFC champion. And he took a long road to get there. He fought some of the biggest names in the sport. Guys that are serious, legitimate, like, all-time contenders. Like, uh, man, what's... He fought at 185 in strike force against real killers, bro. So, I mean, I mean you mentioned that the uh, Paul will go the decision. So does, does that mean Woodley would get the KO if they went the other way around? Yeah, I see Woodley finishing it, but I can see Woodley getting the decision too. I can't. Mm -hmm. I really don't. I don't see Jake getting that finish because he'll hit him and he'll hurt him. He's got slick shots. But he, there's nothing that's coming after. He's not coming to get the finish. Like, he, the way he hit Ben, Ben looked like he'd never taken a punch, a real punch before in his life. T. Woodley has. He gets in there with boxers, and that's what he's going to be doing this camp. He ain't wrestling with people this camp. So I can see him just hitting them. Wait, when do you fight again? Do you know yet? Nah, I'm taking my time, man. That's why, you know, I said I didn't want to talk or whatever, but it's... Uh, I'm lucky to be here and uh, be talking about these guys making big moves in the sport. And it's just a look at my future being on my last contract. I'm trying to do it right. I offer my fight to a team. Um, and 
I'm gonna go and work with my coach. Uh, and let he said he wants to bring me to my my full potential this time. So I, I want to give him his time with me and. Um, you seem to be in a good place, though. Get the right like, fight. Talking to you right I now. mean, I'm chilling in life. You know what I mean? Uh, life is good, and I'm branching out with new ideas. Thank you. Thank you.